I just created 32 high quality short form videos in only 12 minutes using Opus Clip. Here's how. First, we need content, but if we're on a tight time schedule, we don't wanna be spending time scripting and filming it just yet. So I jumped onto YouTube and found a good video we'd already made, but we hadn't created any content from other than the long form. So instead of going through and editing this myself, I instead took the URL and pasted it into a tool called Opus Clip. Selected clips shorter than 30 seconds because I want these to get pushed out organically to help grow their audience. And Instagram recently said, shorter videos are better for reaching new people. And they even went as far as saying videos over 90 seconds won't be suggested to non-followers. In order for a reel to be recommendable to people who don't already follow you, it needs to be under 90 seconds. I then used their new Clip Anything tool to include the prompt, find me the most educational clips from this podcast. This tool uses AI to essentially tag every element in a video, including people, objects, actions, emotions, and sounds, so that you can then write a prompt, such as find the funniest part, or find the part where I talked about this, or find the part where this happened, if you want to get really specific clips. In this situation, I don't. I just want to get educational clips that can be educational on anything and so I left it as simple as that with the prompt. 12 minutes later by the time this had to process we had 32 shorts that had been picked out by the AI based on what's the most engaging educational clips. For you content creators out there epic hack take people on your journey. I have been doing heaps of content recently around how to reduce your cost of living via my missus spends an hour a day scrolling on there and she's in your demographic so you might want to rethink that. <laughs> now these are pretty good but there's lots of pretty good content on social media nowadays so if we want to grow we're going to have to go for great. So what we're going to do now is hop into the editor and play around with it just a little bit to sort of refine this. So diving into my screen here, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly edit these clips. Now, most of them are gonna be perfect, but occasionally there'll be a couple mistakes on things like um, picking up accents or how the clips are put together that you might wanna come in and adjust manually. And sometimes it won't even be a mistake. It'll just simply be they've been edited in a way and you want it slightly different. I'm already reasonably happy with the font, um, the colors and the text. And as you saw from the previous clips, these were pretty well edited. Now, one of the ones that I do want to jump in and edit is this one down here because I noticed there were a couple errors in the subtitles purely just based off the strong New Zealand accent. Um, so if we play this here and take a look. Total spin was. 20 grand. 20 G's? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. 20, 20 G's. 20 G's, for, 20 G's for five days. Yeah. <laughs> Six days. In and out. Yeah. Massive sessions. And we had uh, maybe five. So the first error is it says spin instead of spend. Um, again, it's just by being a Kiwi accent. So you can just go in and type it and then press enter and it's done. The other thing which happens regardless of whether you're using AI or normal just writing it yourself in subtitles is when people repeat themselves on a podcast the subtitles sometimes come out a little bit weird like you've got 20 grand 20 G's yeah and so 20 G's for 20 G's um, just doesn't flow very well um, so what I'm going to do is just edit that so we've got $20,000 we get rid of that um, So 20 G's for and you can just click on those and remove the words or click on it and type it how you want and so now it's like the total spend was twenty thousand dollars yeah so 20 G's for five days yeah six days in and out and let's play that again total spend was 20 grand 20 G's yeah yeah so yeah. 20, 20 G's 20 G's, for, 20 G's for five days yeah <laughs> six days in and out yeah. massive session that in my opinion looks way better way cleaner um, the other thing that I want to change here is personally I don't really like this two sort of camera set up too much um, maybe unless both people are looking directly at the camera um, so we're just going to click split and screen share so they're not applicable layouts uh, and then if we bring it back to the start, you can see that uh, it's gone. So all of a sudden it's changed the camera setup. Um, 
And so it's not that split screen anymore. Total spin was? 20 grand. 20 Gs? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. 20. Now, the other thing, if we want to get picky here, is we can come in and change the captions. So caption lines per page, animation, the colors, the font, the sizing, all of that stuff there. Uh, I'm, I'm reasonably happy, to be honest, with the captions. I quite like them. You can also come in and set a template. So if you've got your own colors or your own font that you want to use, you set that up once and all of the clips will run with that font and that setup um, that you can go through and use. So that's just a quick demo of how to come in and use the editor to tidy up any mistakes or any errors and make it look a lot better. Let's dive back to the main screen. Now, after we've done that, we've got over 30 clips good to go for socials without having to spend time planning, scripting, editing, or filming them, aside from a couple basic adjustments. Simply take your long form content, run it through this tool to create clips, and then schedule it out across the platforms you use. The one disclaimer I will quickly add though, is make sure you do actually watch through the clips to make sure it's good stuff, edit any minor issues that might come through, whether it be on the edit itself, or sometimes on the subtitles. I know, especially as someone in New Zealand, often our accent doesn't quite get picked up by AI tools. So if you are running it through this tool, then make sure you're checking for that so that it actually picks up the words correctly, because often it won't pick up odd accents. Now, this simple process makes creating clips so much easier and allows you to increase the reach of your content, especially if you're not doing this already, because a lot of people will create long form content, whether it's vlogs, podcasts, YouTube videos, webinars, trainings, etc., which is great, but you can run it through a tool like this and create a ton of clips very quickly, which then massively increases the amount of reach that you're getting for your brand and for your business without having to create any new content. And as we've just shown you in 15 minutes. Now you can even go as far as using other people's long form content to then grow a theme page or a faceless account that many people may talk about around a specific niche. Many people have done that to great success, taking interviews or podcasts or a specific niche and building pages around them. It's not something I do, but there's plenty of content around that. Personally, I just use this for myself to create my own content that you might see on my page and occasionally for clients as well. Currently, you can get access to this tool for free if you want to try it out, but I'm not sure how long that will last. So jump in and act quickly. That's it for today's video. Nice short one. Hopefully this helps and I will see you guys next time.